I'm in Adobe InDesign and I have a table here and I'm going to talk about coloring type and coloring cells. With the type tool I've selected this type and then I go over to the property panel and I just click on this little T here and then I can select the color I want it to change to. Now I've got color type. If I want the background, the cell to change, I can just pull down till that whole cell or multiple cells are selected, whichever I want. I'll click on the fill and if I want a tint, there I go. Often when we're working with tables, it's nice to have every other row colored. That way we don't get off track as we go across the columns. So that's easy to do in InDesign. With my type tool, I'll pull down and select all of the rows in this column. I'm going to do every other one. And I could go up to Table Options, or I could just right-click Table Option, Alternating Fills, and then I click, the default is none, I'll click every other row. There's different settings I could do. So I've got every other row selected. I'll select my color. I'll start with black and I'm going to make that be a, a tint. Let's make that be a 20% black. I'll tell that to be yellow at a 10% tint. Click OK. And there I have alternating row colors.